Welcome to another SalesInc.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the 2021 changes, the relevant definitions, and show animated scenarios with questions and answers. Rule 18, Mark Room, is a complex rule, so we'll cover it in three separate videos. This video discusses Rule 18.1 which tells us when Rule 18 applies. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK Sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rule 18 is in Section C of Part 2 of the Rules. Section C covers the rules at marks and obstructions. There are three rules in Section C, Rules 18, 19, and 20, each of them discuss giving room or space to another boat in tight situations. The preamble to Section C prevents boats from using these rules to gain an advantage at the starting line. It says that Section C rules do not apply at a starting mark surrounded by navigable water or at its anchor line from the time boats are approaching them to start until they have passed them. Now let's take a look at Rule 18.1. Take a moment to read it. Let's break it down. Rule 18 applies when boats are rounding a mark and at least one of them is within three boat lengths of the mark, which is called the zone. The rule would not apply if two boats were rounding a mark in different directions, in other words, leaving the mark on different sides which almost never happens. The rest of the rule lists the exceptions, times when Rule 18 does not apply. The first exception is between boats on opposite tacks on a beat to windward. The rule also does not apply between boats on opposite tacks when their proper course at the mark for one boat, but not both of them, is to tack. This is a fairly rare factor, and we won't really show any examples of this. Rule 18 also doesn't apply between a boat approaching a mark and one leaving it. And it doesn't apply if a mark is also a continuing obstruction, in which case another rule, Rule 19, applies. For 2021, Rule 18.1 added a statement that says Rule 18 stops applying when mark room has been given. This language used to be part of Rule 18.2, but it was moved to Rule 18.1 for clarity. Let's look at the definitions for Rule 18.1 that we haven't addressed in previous videos. Here's the definition of mark. Take a moment to read it. The course diagrams in the sailing instructions show the mark and the direction you must round the marks. Marks include objects such as buoys, race committee boats that form part of the start and finish line. Objects intentionally attached to marks are also part of the mark, except for the anchor lines. The picture shows examples of objects which are marks. The zone is the area around a mark within a distance of three hull lengths of the boat nearer to it. A boat's in the zone when any part of her hull is in the zone. Here's a question. A 20-foot boat leads a 16-foot boat into the mark. How far from the mark does the zone begin? The answer is 60 feet. The 20-foot boat is nearest the mark, so she defines the zone which is three times her hull length, or 60 feet. If the 16-foot boat had led into the mark, the zone would be 48 feet. Here's the definition of an obstruction. As you can see, it's rather long, and for Rule 18.1, the definition is only important when a mark is also a continuing obstruction, which is rare. Some examples include a shore, island, or a dock, an anchored vessel, 
any object, area, or line designated by the sailing instructions as an obstruction, right-of-way boats, and capsized boats. We'll cover the definition of obstruction in more detail when we get to Rules 19 and 20. Now let's take a look at eight examples and, dis and decide if Rule 18 applies. Here's the first one. Yellow and blue are sailing upwind within the zone near the windward mark. Does Rule 18 apply here? The answer is no. Rule 18 does not apply, even though the boats are in the zone. Remember the exceptions in Rule 18.1. The first exception says that the rule doesn't apply between boats on opposite tacks on a beat to windward. Although Rule 18 does not apply at the time shown here, it would begin to apply if either one of the boats tacks. Here's the next example. Yellow and blue are again sailing upwind near the windward mark. Does Rule 18 apply here? Yes, Rule 18 applies since they are both required to leave the mark on the same side, and at least one of them is in the zone. None of the Rule 18.1's exceptions are in play here. Here's example 3. Yellow and blue are also sailing upwind near the windward mark. Blue does not have to tack to get to the mark. Does Rule 18 apply here? Again, yes, Rule 18 applies, assuming blue does not have to tack. In this example, yellow and blue are finishing upwind. Does Rule 18 apply here? Yes, Rule 18 applies here also, since they are in the zone and must finish on the same side of the mark. Since blue does not have to tack, none of the Rule 18.1 exceptions apply. If blue does have to tack, then Rule 18 would not apply. Now let's do some leeward mark examples. Yellow and blue are now sailing downwind near the leeward gate. Does Rule 18 apply here? Rule 18 does apply since both boats are sailing to the same gate and blue is in the zone. None of the Rule 18.1 exceptions apply. We'll see situations where boats are going to different gates when we cover the other parts of Rule 18. Here, yellow and blue are sailing upwind toward an island. The course requires sailing around the island, leaving it to port. Does Rule 18 apply here? No, Rule 18 doesn't apply since the island is both a mark and a continuing obstruction. This is exception D in Rule 18.1. In this case, Rule 19 would apply. Another leeward gate example. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind with spinnakers to the leeward gate on opposite tack. The yellow is in the zone, but blue is currently well outside the zone. Does Rule 18 apply here? Yes, yellow is in the zone, so Rule 18 applies assuming they are sailing to the same gate. Why do you think this situation is, is especially important to show with boats with spinnakers? The answer is that spinnaker boats sail fast and often sail at wide angles downwind. With high speed and wide angles, a boat behind can establish an overlap quickly. In the situation shown, blue is already overlapped with yellow. If you're entering the zone, it's best to look be well behind you and anticipate markroom situations. Here's the last example. Yellow and blue are finishing downwind on opposite tacks. Does Rule 18 apply here? Yes, Rule 18 applies since they are both required to finish on the same side and blue is in the zone. Even though they are on opposite tacks, none of the Rule 18.1 exceptions apply. So, if boats are on opposite tacks, Rule 18 does apply at a downwind finish, but doesn't apply at an upwind finish if they are on opposite tacks.
get into the meat of Rule 18 in the next two videos. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.